Alright, it's going to Um, <coughs> you're not, you not just Jerry Hudak, but any other women? Anything? Oh, my gifts, they stole all my gifts sent from y'all, dude. And they gave me two packs, two cigarettes. They got a box, like a, a box next door, or that, right there, but they gave me two cigarettes. So do not give him anything. And <clears throat> part of the mail, dude, is has private like information about my clients. Dude. Do not mess it up, please. Please. <clears throat> so, all right. This is a statement. Uh, most of the info my clients send me. <coughs> Verified and confirmed with a lot of police tomorrow. Artificial epilepsy. Even if they said it, it, it doesn't mean they said it. Coercion. Uh, no lawyer. The lawyer is not there. Um, they stole their certificate of, and wouldn't let them meet with the lawyer. Of what they were doing half the time saving lives and we had the phone numbers of people forging signature like the phones they stole and we have the photographers and witnesses watching them so it wasn't actually my client doing all that stuff <laughs> or they didn't know get it they so they're not the one who did it and it's not like totally true totally true yeah it, it's 40 percent false that means and 20 percent misleading that means they're not going to be able to say tell you what happened <coughs> it's sort of like investigators having to um piece what they thought oh yeah and it is what they thought happened or what happened and ask questions from the uh, witness of what happened what they thought happened not even so the witness doesn't really know or the person doesn't know what happened so their story is going to be misleading or even condemning themselves And some people are super moral. They're gonna take the blame dude, for little mistakes they did that did not cause the problem. Or what in in no way was the problem. But thanks for the gifts again in the mail. I haven't received any of it and they gave me two cigarettes. When they have like boxes and cartons and cartons. Cigarettes like two doors down or something. They won't let my delivery go in. But they'll still. Well, what? Somebody find what kind of gift? Two million dollar haircut? Nah, dude. How? How haircut two million dollars? They kill people too? No, I don't take any of that. And do not let them sign it over to my kids, like my contracts and my work. And then y'all steal it from my kids, like 12 year old kids. All right, some of y'all like four star generals, okay? Please do not let them blame whoever in my family when two stars and four stars can't handle it. Alright, uh, yeah, so when they tell them no, you don't have to send mail to me, just tell them no, dude, stop, I try to be nice, and tell you, um, okay, I, I want to pay, know what I pay for, and open up my bank account, so money can, what, stop calling the bank to cut off my bank account, 
with impersonators. So money don't go into my bank account and I know what I pay for when I, I pay for things for you. I don't want you stealing money from me anymore. You are your family. And they're forging my signatures. That's why I don't want my mail there or you in my bank account. Get it? Listen, polite. It's like I make up some excuse so you don't get mad. Like right now, you're stealing mail and people's confidential work letters, and <coughs> you don't ever think it's. And then you're trying to build them? But the soup like way is like, oh, it's, I don't want to bother you. <laughs> To pay for all my stuff. Yeah, should have said that. So I'm gonna keep my own bank account. And don't, don't. And the bank, please do not listen to them when they call for my phone. They won't give back to me to reverse payment on <clears throat> for my clients and my car and my house and my food delivery. Cigarettes, and they'll give me two cigarettes. Damn, man. Even the one that's stealing from me with you thinks it's ridiculous. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, here's a number not to listen to. I think Popeye is another one. Uh. Alright, uh, where is it? They're calling from every phone I used to have. The wife took it. You give it to them in my bank account to them, but you won't let money transfer here so I can live. Now you know why I don't like y'all, dude. Fucking ex-wife. It's ex-wife syndrome, dude. How do they keep the phone going? Uh, 512-779-6164. Yeah, none number, dude. It says they're me or Bao. Bao, I mean, my great presidency. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, that should be right, dude. Um, she's calling with my number, from my number, and having another guy with her saying it's me and it's okay to, and she tell him it's okay to reverse all my bank and withdraw all my money. Shit. Yeah, that's, that's bad, dude. Well, okay, hold on, fair in my mic group. Alright, so be careful. They just took all your presents and mail again. Be careful they might scam y'all, okay? And don't let them bill you for anything. <laughs>